she's my business partner and my sister-in-law. Do you know where she is? Angelica is not the only one who is your sister-in-law. We are from the same town and we are also your sister-in-law. That's good. That means you can help me speak to Hilda, right? Now, why should I? After everything you did, you humiliated her and ran after your he house girl. He did not girl. only run off with his house girl. He actually married her. <laughs> Ladies, please. Both of you don't know me like that. So don't speak to me in that manner, please. Watch your mouth. That means you don't recognize me. No, I don't. Oh, okay. I am that lady that came to your site where you're building the other day to greet you. The lady your wife insulted. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that incident. Honestly, I am. But you see, that is why I'm trying to speak to Hilda, but she's not giving me the opportunity to, to have access to her. And you think it's that easy? After everything you did, Derek, please, please, just leave. Ladies, please, cool down. I've called Indidika like 10 times already, and she's not answering her call. I just know that if she speaks to Hilda on my behalf, everything will be fine. Um, Derek, let me even assume that Hilda listens to you. What becomes of your wife? Hilda is my wife. What are you saying? Really? I, I know I've done some wrong things. And, and that is why I'm here. To right all my wrong. To fix it. So where is Injidika? Mr. Fixer. Okay. <laughs> we do not know where Hilda is. Neither do we know where Injideka is. Can you leave now? I beg Waka. Yes. You see, the way you have completely transformed mm -hmm. from a banker right. to a full-blown businesswoman, mm -hmm. that amazes me. I know. I mean, yeah, I'm killing it. <laughs> but that's not to say that what I'm doing now is rocket science. When you place it in comparison to my former line of duty, I mean... As a banker, I was trained to manage other people's finances. And now that I'm a businesswoman, thanks to you, <laughs> I have um, traders and importers who supply goods to me on credit. And that to me is the same thing as pretty much having their finances being managed by me while I make profit off of it. And you right. are doing so well. Yeah, it's like an advancement from what I used to do. Yeah. You've built so much goodwill. Yeah. Importers are now willing to give you goods worth up to 100 million naira. That's correct. On credit. That is correct. That is something. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm so grateful to you. Because if it wasn't for you, <laughs> Derek's ugly plans would have worked. Can we try not to talk about Terry? Yeah, sure. The most important thing is that you have a roof over your head and mm. you are doing very well in business. Yes, I am doing well. <laughs> but now, can we talk about you? What do you mean, let's talk about me? <laughs> Why? Talk about me. I, I want to talk about you. We, ne we hardly talk about you. We almost never talk about you. Are you ready? Wow. Yeah. Why aren't you married? Why are you still single? Because I know you. I know you very well. I know your what. And then some of the traders and importers that I do business with, they know you too. And they have confirmed that you're bigger than them. And I also know that you have suitors all over the place trying to swim their way through. So what the hell? Why aren't you married, girl? Can we leave this topic for another time? No, we'll talk about it now. Hilda, listen. I want to see you stand on your feet. I am on my feet. I want to see you succeed in business so that you can prove to men like Derek that women can actually achieve a lot without them. I'm on the right track already. But you, you still need a man. I'll know the man when I see one. How 
where I married you from. Can you compare this house with where you where you from? Uh, that comprises the whole matter. At all, you built a bungalow for Hilda, and now you are with me. You have to give me something far better than this. Yes. And why in the world would I do that? Are you any better than Hilda is? I left Hilda because she was giving me females. Decided to be with you so that you can give me males. And you're also giving me females. And you've concluded I cannot give you males. For well, how long should I wait? How many years should I wait? You've given me two girls already. Maybe the males can come. I know that. Well, start producing the males and then you can ask for a bigger house. Good afternoon, neighbor. Yes, hello, afternoon. You must be the owner of this house. Yes. I'm your neighbor. Oh, that's nice. As you can see, we're almost completed and very soon we'll be real neighbors. And who says that? Who is ready to be neighbors with people who is already showing themselves? Baby, we are likely to rent this place out, please. I am not ready to compete with these weirdos. And that's it. You don't have to call me names, my dear. I only came to say hi to a neighbor. And please, hold your hi to yourself. I don't need it. Let's go, baby. I almost gave my life for this. Angelica, you did not tell your father all this. I'm really sorry, father. I thought you would discourage me. This is the height of embarrassment. My daughter had been going to Isubuzo Kingdom for peace talk all alone. What if something bad had happened to you? What will I do? And you never thought of that. I'm sorry, Father. I had to do what I had to do. Igwe, I was told that the land had been under dispute for a very long time. And a maiden like Onowu called me. A May maiden have finally brought this land to you. And you suddenly have the mouth to talk. Are you not the same man who was strongly agitating for war? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you can, you can speak. Jadega, in all your knowledge, exposure, you know, moving around the world, have you ever seen a situation where a female, no matter why in the family, yeah, a female who must stoop in order to pass you in? Have you ever seen a situation where such a person takes part in uh, discuss, the discussion over lands or, or even uh, partake in land sharing? I mean, just tell me. Oh no. In all your years of existence, have you ever seen where grown up men who have issues, pressing issues before them, and instead of get up and find a solution, they sit down. And a May maiden, like you call me, gets up, steps on the gas, and profiles solution to a long-lasting issue which has been going on from 1972. Hey, 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 in as much as I am not going to undermine the effort you have made to solve the problem that we have in this kingdom, I need you to understand that what you are demanding is unheard of. Igwe, with all due respect, that land must be shared equally. Abomination. Abomination. I can never be passed and parcel of this taboo. Then go. Go home. Amen.